Welcome back Anabolic Boba gang to the next video in our series. Today we are taking on another incredibly classic recipe, Thai tea. This is the tea that so many of us associate with going out to get tea here in America, at least here in California. It's orange, it's vibrant. You always wonder at first, how is that tea? It doesn't look like tea. Tea is brown or yellow. I know we call it green tea, but come on, we all know it's yellow. Anyway, Thai tea has a very special place in all of our hearts if we are people who typically get boba. So today, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a really good anabolic Thai tea that you can do in just a few minutes at home. So let's take a look at what we need. To make our anabolic Thai tea, we are going to need, of course, Thai tea bags. You can also get loose leaf Thai tea if you'd like. I just find that the bags, like with everything else that we make that's tea based, make it a lot easier. You are also going to need a no calorie sweetener, a vanilla protein, fat free evaporated milk, and cashew milk. For our anabolic Thai tea, we're going to start off with 75 grams of our fat free evaporated milk, into which we are going to add 200 grams of our cashew milk. Then exactly as we did before with the jasmine and oolong teas, I have had this brewing and steeping for about 15 minutes, and I'm going to put my half a cup of tea into my mixture. First, of course, squeezing out the tea bag. With how orange it is already, you know that this is going to come out with a good Thai tea flavor. No matter how little effort you want to put into making your boba, however, do not, and I repeat, do not use a Thai tea flavor drop. I got this to try to see if it would work. It did not. And it did not just taste like tea. Get yourself the tea and brew it first. It's not that hard. You just have to do a little bit of prep work. Next, we're going to add 18 grams of our protein powder and six grams of our no calorie sweetener. And you know what time it is. It's time to whiz it all up. At this point, we are going to add in our boba. I used the same brown sugar boba recipe that I used in the oolong milk tea up here. Click the card if you want the step-by-step. -step. And as you might have guessed, we are going to add now three ice cubes. Stick a straw in it, and now we're ready. All right, Anabolic Boba Gang, let's give this a try. Mm. What I will definitely say is doing the two tea bags and letting it steep for a long time is essential. It allows that Thai tea flavor to really come through. And I know some of you will have your own ways of brewing tea. That's totally fine. If you want to brew tea the way you like it, by all means do so. There are no rules. You can always modify a recipe. But for those of us who need to be able to have some direction to get our feet in the water, this is a wonderful starting point. All right, boil up that half a cup of water in the microwave, just dunk in those tea bags and let it sit. It couldn't be easier. Sure, there are people who take measurements and all of that, but for most of us, this will do it. As I said before, in the avocado smoothie recipe, despite all the recommendation to not drink calories, things get a little bit different when you're able to make an anabolic boba. The macros are friendly. All right, here are the nutrition facts for the whole drink. And here they are without the boba. So it's incredibly macro friendly as opposed to other things where you're really drinking in calories. And because you do chew the boba while you're drinking it, it slows you down and provides a little bit of filling while also giving you that chewing motion that makes it more satisfying. If you like the video, don't forget to like the video, smash that subscribe button, ding on that notification bell, and drop a comment down below telling me what you want to see come up next. And until that next one, always remember to stay worthy.